So today we're going to do an exercise called the upside down man drawing uh, using a drawing by my favorite artist Pablo Picasso. The reason that Picasso is my favorite artist is not only was he an extremely prolific artist, meaning he produced a lot of art, he produced a lot of different styles of art, and he was so good at it and so good at kind of keeping a fresh idea and perspective throughout his career. Here's a few of his major images that you might reference throughout the year. Then we will do the Upside Down Man, which is this drawing that Picasso did of a man. And it's a simple line drawing, and Picasso was a, an expert realist in his young career. But he moved away from doing realistic artwork and did more abstract and line-based and childlike artwork by the time he was uh, an older man. And this is one of his line drawings, and it's of a man seated. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn it upside down, and we're going to concentrate on just drawing the lines in the top inch of it. And we'll cover up the rest of the picture, and as we draw the lines in the top, and we look for direction and length of the line, and which way they're touching each other, or which way, you know, how far apart they are, um, and things of that nature, we're going to be looking at all these various lines. And as we get all the lines done, we'll move our cover-up paper down a little bit, we'll expose some more lines, we'll draw those lines, move your cover-up paper down, and draw more lines as you go. And eventually you will have an image that should look very similar to Picasso's line drawing of this man. And you'll see that so much of drawing is just observing carefully. That's looking carefully at um, lines and space and shape and, and trying to uh, accurately replicate the distances between things, the angle of lines, um, and the number of lines. So seeing things as they really are. Okay. Good luck.